So the first thing I got is my favorite part of this whole haul and I just could not wait to show you guys. Look at this snowman. He is so adorable. And no, that's not a cowbell. That's the nose hitting the back of the wood. I saw this and I had to have it. Um, I tried to channel willpower um, when I was in there and uh, not look at Christmas stuff because I didn't go in there for Christmas shopping. But he was near the DVDs that we were looking at and I saw him out of the corner of my eye and I fell in love instantly. And he was only $12. I normally don't go for the rustic type look, but I just, I could not leave without him. I've got these gloves. These are touch screen gloves. Um, they've got like a good grippy right here on the back. Uh, these are a lot nicer than the ones I've ever owned um, because they're all fancy looking on the thumb and the finger. You know how they have those different so you can text and stuff but i've never owned a nicer pair like this and i i thought these would look really good with my jacket i have a black jacket this winter so um these were eight dollars found some of our dove body wash which was really cool um this was only 450 and this is the 24 ounce and normally this is i mean that's cheaper than walmart so we had to get that um they had other scents too and the exfoliating, which is one we've been using since it's gotten colder, it was $4.50, but then they also had other ones that were $5, which is still a good price, especially if you don't want to go in Walmart. I mean, that practically saved my life. Now I still don't have to go to Walmart. <laughs> so I'm do I'm going to great lengths, you guys, if you if you haven't noticed to stay out of Walmart. <laughs> so I was really shocked to see those there. Um, so I had to get it because I knew they'd be gone. And then I found this goodie comb, and this is one of the ouchless combs, and I immediately was like, OMG, I need this. The teeth are flexible, so it reduces breakage, and I have, actually it prevents breakage, I guess if you use it correctly, but I've had a little bit of problem with that recently. This is a really nice comb. I would have never paid full price for that. I refuse to pay full price for stuff like this anymore because look I just got it for a dollar I probably would have went to Walmart and seen that and thought I need something like that that's perfect but it would have been six and I would have paid it and then I spotted this lip gloss hanging by its lonesome self I saw a limited edition and you know kind of a purple shade so my eye draws to to those two things normally this is the city proof um, eight hour up to eight hour wear lip gloss um, by NYC, or it's extended wear lip gloss. And let's see, I have this shade, oh how fancy, it's called Venomous Berry, nice. This was the last one, and so when I got to the register, the girl was like, um, was this the last one? And I'm always honest, it truly was the last one. I said, unless, do you see how that just flew out of my hands? Welcome to my life. Unless um, there were any more in the bins, which it was hanging up. <laughs> see, I'm like a bull in a china shop. Oh my gosh. And I said, unless there's any in the bins, know that this was the only one I saw. Because y'all know I'll be digging through those bins. They're at Big Lots, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no shame in my game. She said, do you want it for a dollar? And I was like, yes. <laughs> so I got that for a dollar. I got more of my Dead Sea Minerals makeup remover cleansing towelettes. I hadn't had these in about a month and I couldn't tell why but my face had been kind of like freaking out on me and I think this is why because I stopped using these and I forget that when I interrupt my face regimen I do have sensitive skin so um, these were working so well for me I think they kind of spoiled me so I grabbed two more packs of those and I'm gonna go stock up on them because I never again want to be without them least not anytime soon anyway and then next I saw that they had some of the youth code BB cream illuminator by L'Oreal and it was only six dollars which I'm not sure what these retail for I didn't even scan it and that's not like me normally I will double check it but I immediately grabbed it and I've already tried it and I'm in love with this stuff so I don't know what that retails for uh, but I'm definitely gonna look it up I always do I was slacking but I was just so excited to see it saw this now, y'all know I'm obsessed with my Dazzling White whitening pen that you can find at the Dollar Tree, but this is the pro version, OMG, and it was only $2. Couldn't believe it, and since I had just ran out of my whitening pen, I just finished one up. It was perfect timing. I'll let you guys know how this turns out if you want. They had several 
at my big lots i may go pick up another one um but this even had a fancy shade tracker to track your results like how the more expensive ones have i was like ooh, ooh fancy and the splurge two dollars <laughs> so it looks just like the other one though um only it's pro baby and then oh i got this gigantic bag of Epsom salt. It was only $1.50 and you get two pounds and that's a pretty good deal. I also got this Elite Beauty Tools, Tools, Beauty Tools Pumice Stone. Um, they have stopped carrying these at my Dollar Tree so I needed one of those and Big Lots never lets me down on those. Then I have just some random buys. I already drank all this. It was so fantastic. Um, this water, it's natural artesian water. Um, oh my goodness, I need cases of that. I saw this, I haven't had Gatorade in literally years, but this is 70 cents, it was strawberry, and I thought I might try, I used to drink Gatorade all the time, so I thought I'd try it. You're out of olive oil, and I normally buy ours at like Trader Joe's or somewhere else. I found this, it looked pretty good, extra virgin olive oil, and it was only 3.50. So, we will give it a shot. It'll do for now. Um, these straws, there's 125 in here, dang. Um, these are like primary colors, they're so pretty. Plus there's purple, oh, love it. Um, and these are only $1.80. I found a section in Big Lots that has truly impressed me. They have started to grow like almost a whole aisle of like organic and gluten-free and all kinds of really healthy snacks and products and that is where i found these bad boys i've never in my life seen a pinto bean chip before <laughs> but these are called bonitos and these were only two dollars well i say only but um it's a six ounce bag but if chips had resumes this one would get an a plus because it lists all of its credentials right there for you <laughs> these are a vegan product so never heard of them in my life um Thought I'd give them a whirl. They look and sound fabulous, so we shall see. Have y'all heard of these or tried them, or am I just crazy? Anyway, um, we got some toilet paper, and uh, I've got this before. We really like it. It's six dollars for twelve double rolls. I got Wrigley a new coat, and see if I can show this properly. I just thought this was so adorable, and um, I Instagrammed a while back. Um, I'm showing you the back of it. A picture of a coat that I got him that I got on a like crazy clearance deal at Walmart and it Wrigley doesn't like it. It was just a tad bit too snug in his belly. What I love about this, first of all, is it has the snap for the hood, which is cool. I'm sorry, where are my YouTube manners? This was $12 by Pet Love. Um, anyway, it has a belly extender, so you know, you can adjust the fit either way. And look at the applique on it. I, it's really nice and like embroidered in there with suede and look like something Wrigley would look fantastic in. I like that the Velcro is super strong. That's another thing that was wrong with the other coat, even if it did fit him. Um, the Velcro was not this strong. So I cannot wait to try this on my baby. I think he's gonna be so handsome. So that's everything I got this time, you guys. I know this was kind of random and sporadic, and I'm so sorry for that. But this is all I could work with with the lighting, so. But I wanted to show, you know, and share it with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and I love y'all so, so much, and I will see you next time.